Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain how do we use Solid Edge assembly module to put parts together to make assembly model. We use this new and GB metric assembly module. Just click to start. Once the module start, we need to use the part library to bring the parts in. You can click on this drop down menu to find your parts from your H drive. The first part I'm going to bring in is a pin. Right. If you click that one, you can see there's an icon appears. So if you double click, they pass in the module. Then you click a second one which is brushing for me. I want to put this brushing on top of this pin. Once two parts are there, you can click on this drop-down menu. We use plane align to align the surface of brushing against the surface of the pin. You can see here is a red arrows there. So that is the distance between these two aligned plane at the moment is a zero. If we want to push it a bit further in to place this brushing in the middle of the pin, I need move nine millimeter. Right. This is uh, uh, the nine millimeter is work out based on dimension. Uh, of the pin and the brushing. The next step is to click on this icon again, and we, this time we use extra line to align the inside of the surface of the brushing. Just click it with the outside surface of the pin. Just click it again. You'll see the pin sits on the, or the brushing sits on the pin. Right, okay. The next, we go to library again. This time, we're going to bring the circle clip here. Click on circle clip, that's the circle clip we want. Okay, double click, circle clip is in. We do the same, just plain a line between the surface, and when it's highlights yellow, you click, click, uh, and surface there. You can see now they are aligned this way, which is same as the last time, but we really want this circle set in the groove here. So we need to actually use flip to flip this over. Okay, now it's there. The next is to click this again, and we use extra align the inner surface highlight and click with the inner surface of the pin. Click. You'll see the circle clip is there. We can do the same with the next circle clip. So we go to library again and click on the circle clip again and select plane and line between that one and that surface. Again, it's other way around, we need to actually flip. Okay, then we click the X alignment and you can rotate the model so as you can see it clearly. Uh, between the inner surface and outer surface of that. If you want to actually make the pin align to each other, what you can do, you can apply another X alignment to the hole here and hold there. You can see these two are aligned. So let's hold down, then we can save this file. 
to the folder and give a name as the sub-assembly we're going to use for the final assembly. That's it for this video.